Essentially, what we're going to do is throw a lot of banana peels around Chicago and have the machine stumble. And when it stumbles, it gets into a policy of overkill, and it starts to devour itself. So the cops are going to turn on themselves? Or they'll at least, how do you, you know, know, they'll, they'll be time. fighting. They'll be fighting other people in power. See, in Grand Central Station, they weren't just clubbing us longhairs. You see, they start to take on commuters, you know, and people coming home from the opera and mayor's officials who are wandering around and FBI agents who are there in secret disguised as hippies. They're all getting clubbed just like us. I've owned a gun, yeah. but uh, it's just another theater prop. I can't shoot it for shit. See, I can I could hold you off forever just by using uh, uh, theatrical techniques. I'll oh, show you, see, oh, you be straight. Okay. You be straight, guy. And you push me, give me the cop. Come on, man, you fucker! Come on, come on, take me! See? You ain't gonna touch me. You convince them that you're crazy enough to do anything, and then they won't touch you. For example, before we went to the Pentagon, uh, we start hearing all these spook stories about Mace, you know? So a couple of us sitting around, you know, getting pretty stoned. We say, Mace, huh? That's pretty dangerous. We need a drug of our own. How about lace? <laughs> and we start playing with lace, you know, lysergic acid, cryptoethylene, LSD, and DMSO, and, you know, invented by Osley. And, well, let's go out and get some. So we go out and get some plastic water guns and some Schwartz Disappearo purple fluid and you squirt it on the wall and it vanishes. See, high penetration quality, right? So we call a little press conference, bring over the press, and we uh, squirt it at the wall. And they say, well, it's pretty good. Maybe it's true, maybe it isn't. We say, okay, come back in four hours. We come back, we have two couples, see? We squirt them. They take off their clothes, they fuck. The reporter says, holy shit, you know? They go to take it and we say, you want to try it, you can get brain damage. You know, you run that risk, and they put it back because they, they, you know, they're afraid to die. And the press is wireistic, and they're going to eat that goddamn thing up. And you look in Time Magazine, man, and there it is, a fact. No quotes, no hoax, no nothing. Lace, the new wonder drug, makes you fuck. Going to the <laughs> Pentagon. <laughs> but can that kind of thing protect people in Chicago? Or are you worried sure about that? Sure it can. I'm not worried about Chicago at all. Of course not. Never worry. Only mothers worry. <laughs> Dude, Chicago team, seems young, like we are hurting ourselves into a stockade, you know? I mean, we're getting ourselves all together. Well, they can surround the us. see, what the Democratic Party, look at their theater, right? International Amphitheater. Have you ever been down there? Uh, Have yeah, you been to Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's out of sight. It's right in the stockyard, see? Yeah. It smells like yeah. shit and yeah. death and piss. And it's boring. You know, they'll have, like, Kate Smith singing the national <laughs> anthem, right? Okay. They'll have all these boring pigs, you know, fat businessmen, serious, very serious things, see? And they'll be showing this, see? And meanwhile, you know, like, every two minutes out of every hour, there'll be us out in the streets or up in the park doing all this thing. Wow, 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 the new America, exciting. And it'll be like a football game, yeah. see? Football game's a good model. Right. Cops versus the yippies or the National Guard or whoever, the paratroopers from Vietnam. I don't know who they're going to bring back to contain us. They're going to bring a lot of heavy equipment, see? And people will be watching that on TV and they'll say, we don't want to watch that boring speech stuff. We want to watch the Rose Bowl out there, you know? And they'll right. get mad. They'll say, why aren't they showing us that Rose Bowl? What are they showing us that boring stuff for? You know, a lot of people are going to kick in their television sets that, that way. This way you got America. They're all into Freud. Say to them, hey man, we're all getting laid, man. We're listening to music, we're having a groovy time. What do you want to work for? Talk to them about full unemployment. They know you don't work, and they're very intrigued by that. We don't work. No, I don't work, man. I'm just fucking around having a good time. That's disgraceful. They hate that in America. Don't work. Of course we don't work. We're never gonna work. What do you guys want to work for? For some haggy old wife and some kids that don't respect you? I want to go to the common tomorrow. Do you want to come? Tomorrow? Yeah. No. Tomorrow? There's Abby. Huh? Yeah, I want to go tomorrow. After Chicago, we can go. After Chicago, but I want to go. You want to go now? Well, now uh, or tomorrow or soon. Well, I guess you should go, then. 
He's such a fascist. I'd like to go after after Holy we get back. What, what, what does he have to say this yeah, time? Yeah, fascist. You're a fascist. Says you're trying to drag me off to the. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the commune. <laughs> Come to the commune. Come to no, the Chicago. No, Jesus. <laughs> Come to the commune. Come to the commune. Take a half. Just each take a half. Come to Mass with me. You go to the commune. You come to Chicago. You come to the commune.